Hello everyone, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we have another nice math challenge before us here. The question is x to the power of 4 equal to minus 16. What then will be the value of x that will satisfy this challenge? In other words, we have to solve for 4 root to this math problem. Now on this channel, I have solved a similar challenge of this kind. Then the question was given to be x to the power of 4 equal to minus 4. I used a particular approach. Uh, I wanted to use a different approach from the former one I used, but uh, this new one gave me just two roots. And uh, so I decided to discard that approach. And I want to use uh, the normal approach to solving uh, this kind of uh, exponential equation. So if you've not subscribed, do us that favor by subscribing okay the favor is our all right so let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time so we take our selection from here all right so look at this question the first thing we're going to do here is to move this to this side automatically this will now become x that plus 16 equal to 4. now the approach I said I used, which didn't work out, it worked out, but uh, not um, too good. I changed this place to minus, and I attached minus sign to this. Then take the square to give me s to the power of 4 minus 4 iota. Okay? Um, but that may be so confusing, that's why I want to use this straightforward method. But if you want me to uh, actually solve and uh, use that method, which I'm talking about, say second method in the comment section, then I will produce a video on that method. Then let's go into this now. So with this year, what we do, if we put in four year, sorry, two year, and raise it to power four to get an algebraic identity with Power of 4 will give us some challenge. So what we do, we just have to uh, introduce some other element to this challenge. So we want to have this to be s to the power of 4 plus 16. If I put in here plus 8x to the power of 2 minus 8x to the power of 2 plus minus, this will give us 0. To take us back to this, everything equal to 0. This has not changed anything though it has changed something but not really so what we do here if we decide to put this and this together and put this and this together the whole activity will result to nothing and so let's group this together so if we have x to the power of 4 then plugs your 8x to the power of 2 plus 16 then minus 8x squared this is equal to 2 zero rather is equal to zero then take a good look at this so from here we can write this expression we have in here okay so here this could be expressed as our x to the power of two then plus our four right okay then r raised to the power of two if we open up this we're going to come up with this Okay, then minus our 8x to the power of 2 equal to 0 here. Okay, so we are going gradually, right? The whole of this is what I've broken down to this format now. Now, we want to bring in the difference of 2 square. But look at this 8 here. Okay, in fact, I want to raise this to um, power of 2. So let's keep this idea. The plugs our 4 all to the power of 2 minus if I decide to put this here, then and I have x here, all raised to power 2. Then this 8 here now, what will I do here? If I introduce a square root here, this, this will leave to give us 8, while this to this power will give us this. So it has not changed anything, so this is equal to 0. Okay, now we have 8 here, now we can rewrite the square root of 8 to give us here a 2. Um, square root of 2. In other words, 2 times the square root of 2 will give us what? 8 because 8 can be expressed as 4 times 2 and the square root of 4 is 2. So we can rewrite what we have here as our x to the power of 2 plus 4 or raised to the power of 2 minus bracket 2 into the square root of 2 or into our x then up to the power of 2 equal to 0. Correct? Okay. Now let's look at this together again. Now 
we have our difference of two square. Remember our difference of two square. What does it say? It says that if you have your a to the power of two minus b to the power of two, this will give us here our a plus b or in bracket bracket a minus b, right? So if we remember this or we put this into consideration, if we apply this, we are saying that the whole of this is our a, then the whole of this is our b. So let's go ahead and rewrite this expression here. So let's continue on this side here. So apply this, this will give us here bracket to open our x to the power of 2, the plugs of our 4 plugs of the next term you have 2 root 2x, right? Then we have here bracket close bracket our x to the power of 2, the plugs for the minus 2 root 2 of x, close bracket, everything equal to 0. So at this point, what we do, we can equate this to 0, equate this to 0, right? Good. So let's go ahead and equate. So this now implies that our x to the power of square, we take this first plus 2 root 2 of x, then plus 4 equal to 0, or we now have our x um, to the power of 2, the minus, uh, sorry, x, the minus our 2 root 2 of x, then uh, plus our 4 equal to 0. Okay, now if you look at this carefully, this is a quadratic equation where we have two cases, okay? So let's take case 1, so considering case 1, Case one, yeah, what is case one going to give us? So using the quadratic formula, we're going to have our x is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, let's bring out our a, b, c. From case one, our a is one which is the coefficient of this, and our b is the whole of this. This is b, right? And this is our c. This is our c, this is our b, this is our um, a. So this now implies our x is equal to, here we're going to have minus 2 root 2, the plus minus the square root of your uh, 2 root 2, r squared minus 4 into 1 into of four, right? Good. Everything all over two times one. Okay, so what we do next here is to go on this will give us minus two root two, the plus minus the square root. Now, if we use this to open up this, we're going to have here four times two. Four times two will give us eight. So automatically we're going to have here to be eight, the minus this will give us 16, everything all over uh, 2. So if we subtract this from the, this will give us minus 8. So end up having minus 2 square root of 2 plus minus the square root of minus 8 all over our uh, 2 here. Okay, so what we do next here now, let's continue on this part here. Okay. Uh, now, we can remove the minus sign to give us here, this is equal to your minus 2 square root of 2 plus minus, um, yeah, the square root of our 8 iota, okay, all over 2. Now, the square root of 8 is same thing as 2 root 2. So, we cannot go ahead and write this as our minus 2 root 2 plus minus 2 root 2 iota all over 2. So from here, you will discover that 2 root 2 is common to everything we have here. So let's factor our 2 root 2. So if we do that, this will give us here our 2 root 2 bracket. If we use 2 root 2 to divide this, we're left with what? Minus 1, then plus minus. We use 2 root 2 to divide this, we are left with iota. Close bracket, all over 2. So these two goes with these two. So we automatically left with the square root of two, then into our minus one 
plus minus iota. So from here we have two root to our uh, x here. So let's take x1. So we have x1, which is the first value of x. It's going to give us the square root of 2 into, we're going to take the positive one. So if we are taking the positive one, we can interchange this. So give us here iota minus 1, right? Then our x2, then will now be equal to, we're going to come up with minus 1 minus iota. So I can bring out the minus sign. So give us here minus the square root of 2. Yes, the square root of 2. Let me write this very well. Bracket. There, yeah, we're going to give us here 1 plus iota. Okay, so we've gotten two roots, the first two roots to our um, problem, to our challenge. So now let's take our case 2 to solve for the third and the fourth root of our x. So let's continue on this side. Case 2, we have our case 2 here. We have the x, okay? So we have our x squared minus 2 square root of 2x that plugs for equal to 0. So we use the formula again, which is minus, but let's just go straight to our formula. So if we are using the x, then what is our b is minus 2 root 2. So bracket minus 2 root 2 close bracket plus minus the square root of here we have minus 2 root 2 r squared minus 4 times um what is our a1 that times our c is 4 okay so let's just manage the space here okay so we have here all over 2 point 1 so this will give us here positive square root of this plus minus the square root of this again. Remember, we give us eight. So we have eight here. Then um, minus this. This will give us sixteen. Everything all over. Okay, all over two here. Wow. So what we do here now? Easy again. When we subtract this from this, this will now give us 2 root 2 plus minus the square root of minus 8 all over 2. Again, we can rewrite this as square root of 8 iota. So this will now give us 2 into the square root of 2 plus minus the square root of 8 iota all over 2. Again, 8 can be written as 2 root 2. So if we go ahead to write that, this will now give us here, uh, let's say this is equal to, here we have 2 root 2, the plus minus 2 root or 2 iota. Everything all over 2. So again, we can factor out 2 from here. Okay, so if we factor out 2, this, this will leave the system. So we are now going to have the square root of 2 plus minus the square root of 2 iota. So let's bring out x3 and x4 from here. Let's take the last lap here. In other words, let's just bring out all the four roots to our x here. So let's take our x1 is equal to, from there we have um, x1 is the square root of 2 into your iota minus 1 and x2 is equal to um, minus the square root of 2 bracket 1 plus iota. The x3 is equal to, here, yeah, we're going to have the square root of 2 bracket 1 plus iota. And x4 is equal to, here, yeah, we're going to have the square root of 2 bracket 1 minus iota. So these are the four roots that will satisfy this exponential challenge. Now, like I said before, there is a second method I've already uh, devised or um, created to solve this. The answer I have from there is um, just plus minus two iota, okay? So if you want me to use the second method to also solve this, Say second method in the comment section, and I will do that. Okay, so if you learned something from this video tutorial, 
give the video a thumbs up and if you have a better way of serving this drop it in the comment section remember this is all i must tv and we all love you because you are the reason for the existence of this channel remember again and again jakes loves you bye for now